Wisconsin was key to Donald Trump winning the White House. His victory here, the first by a Republican presidential candidate since 1984 and coupled with wins in Michigan and Pennsylvania, helped give Trump traction in parts of the country that had solidly backed Democrat Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012. So how is the new president doing in Wisconsin today, two months into his first term? Wednesday, the first Marquette Law School poll of 2017 will be released, and we should get at least a sense of not only how state voters feel about the nation's new leader, but about policy decisions that have been made in the first few weeks of his presidency. The poll will also look at key issues in this year's state budget and how voters think they should be addressed. Wisconsin wasn't always Trump territory. He lost big to Ted Cruz in the Republican primary, but after he won the nomination, Wisconsin Republicans began to warm to candidate Trump, and he surged to a narrow victory here in November. Few political observers, including Republican insiders, thought Trump would win Wisconsin, but he did. And as a result, our state may now in some ways be a political barometer for the Trump presidency. Forget about Peoria. How will it play in Platteville, Plymouth, and Prentice? Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.